spectacular, amazing, the perfect example are some of the words used to describe Aaron Kraft, the all-American point guard for the Ohio State Buckeyes and the greatest point guard in school history. But he's also an academic all-American with a 3.92 GPA. And what is even more impressive is his commitment as a social champion. All the years I've coached, I, I don't know uh, if I've had anybody like him, just in terms of how he plays on the court to how he carries himself off the court. Um, you know, everything that, that he does in his life uh, is, is very, very important. He, he takes his position as an Ohio State basketball player and probably uses it for others more than anybody I've ever seen. Aaron realized early on that there was more to life than sports. It's, it's really easy to say that without sports I, w I wouldn't be at Ohio State or, or you know, I wouldn't have the, the sphere of influ influence or the platform that, I, that I'm very blessed to have. But um, the things that, that you build and, and shape while you're playing sports through training, through um, the disciplines, through the, through the games, through the hard times, through the team, uh, those are the things that I think help me and go beyond um, sports, which really kind of shape who I am and shape the life that, that I live. When he arrived at Ohio State, there was an older childhood friend already there. And there was a senior here when I got here named John Diebler that I had known when I was in third grade and he was in seventh or eighth. Uh, he was the first, first guy I talked to when I saw the opportunity to come here and play. Uh, and, and when I got here, I just said, I'm going to do whatever he does. Um, and the way that he handled himself in the spotlight, in, um, in tough situations, uh, showed me what it was like to, to be an athlete at Ohio State. Um, and he, he saw his opportunity as a platform, um, as an opportunity to reach out and, and talk to kids or talk to people that he normally would not have an opportunity to do so. Aaron became involved in several programs targeting kids with cancer or other special needs. Working with the kids is, is phenomenal. Um, just being around those, those kids that are so excited just, just to be around, you know. They're, they're here, they get to shoot a couple hoops and, and see our locker room and stuff like that. You know, overall, it was definitely a trip to Haiti. Just the, the level of, of poverty, the level of need that, that they have on a daily basis, um, not knowing where a drink of water is gonna come from. Whether he's serving meals to the homeless, taking that mission trip to Haiti, visiting kids with cancer, volunteering at the Make-A-Wish charity, giving time to athletes in action or to the A Kid Again organization. It's hard to imagine a person with more fingers in more pies than this young man, which is why he received the McMurray Award as Ohio State's most distinguished athlete, citizen, and scholar. Please welcome Aaron Kraft. All right, sorry you had to watch so much of me on that video. Um, I will make this as brief as possible, but uh, before I get going, uh, for me, uh, I, have to, I have to thank Jesus for you know, the sacrifice and the guidance that he gives me daily. I know I wouldn't be here with, without that, um, and this is a tremendous honor. Uh, and I'm extremely grateful and humbled to be in this position uh, with everything that this cup represents. And knowing the, the finalists and the recipients that came before me, uh, this truly is an honor to be here. Um, I, I would love to thank everyone that made this night possible. Um, this, is, this has been a great two-day trip here to Atlanta, and I, I've loved every minute of it. And I have to congratulate the other finalists that are over there. Um, I've really loved getting to know those guys. And, and, and as you guys see, if you've ever met them, they're, they're so much more than what you're reading about in your programs. And I encourage you guys to go up and say hello because they're, they're great people. So I grew up in a small town in Finley, Ohio, and, and always dreamed about doing big things. And the one way to do that that I know of was, was to play sports. So I started out trying to make a name for myself, doing everything I can to get my name known. And then I quickly realized that it was about losing yourself in, in the team that, that really led to you know, better play, uh, you know, more join the game, and, and consequently more success. So then I found myself at Ohio State, where the team that I became a part of was so much bigger than just the basketball team. This team philosophy of playing for something that's bigger than yourself started to really apply to so many areas in my life. Uh, I, was, I was very blessed with teammates, coaches, and mentors that, that really showed me and, and helped me understand the platform that we had as, as student athletes and the responsibility that came along with that. 
and, and they really helped show me that being an athlete did not define who I was, um, and it doesn't today. And it was the things outside of the court that really had the greatest impact and created things that would last in the long run. So th this concept of living outside of myself has led to so many opportunities, including this one, to, to meet people and, and build relationships. And those are the things that have the greatest meaning in my life to this point. And, and they're, they're way bigger than any game or victory that I've ever been a part of. So and with, with all this and, you know, the wooden cup, uh, it, it reminded me of a, a John Wooden quote that he kind of made popular. And it says, it's amazing how much can get accomplished when no one cares who, who gets the credit. And I really think that that's just kind of the team. That, that's what it's about, being on a team and, and wanting what's best for the university and, and the basketball team as a whole. So, and it's this type of vision that I hope to lean on as I advance beyond being a college athlete. So thank you guys so much for being here, and uh, go Bucks.